back to my channel. I am doing the hourly whistle and birch with this beautiful Jessica Kate planning kit. I've been hauling this ever since Jessica Kate planning like was in its infancy and was a store. So I'm so excited to use this. I absolutely loved how it turned out. As you can see from me putting down the washi and then peeling it back up, the paper ripped a little bit. And this is premium matte paper, so I guess unless you use undo, I would not recommend using stickers and then peeling them off without undo in the Whistle and Birch inserts. Like, as I've said many, many times, I love the Whistle and Birch inserts. I think they're great. I think the paper's great. It's just not for me. And I'm trying to tell you every single flaw that is about it so you have a very honest and in-depth review so like that full box pulled off well which was good but as i said undo would be better i really liked how the sidebar turned out and this was really out of my comfort zone but it's surprising because i used to plan in an hourly last year what you guys can't see is there is actually my old ec to the left of me where i'm getting inspiration from my old spreads um particularly ones where i was at uni because i really feel that this would be amazing for a uni student like i 100 percent wish that i had this when i was at uni because you can as what i'm doing here you put your classes and your gym times and what you're doing during the day in the first half of the section and then the bottom half of the section you have like a to-do list it's fucking amazing like what a great layout I had the hourly for the EC last year and the the times were weird but I combated the whistle and birch times by covering it with washi because I don't get up at five o'clock I'm still fucking asleep like yuck <laughs> so I just had mine start at six I think I am not the type of person that would go to the gym at six o'clock but for the purposes of this spread I thought I would put it in there and I tried to color code things as how I would have used it as a student. I'm just putting like classes A, B, C, one, two, three, etc. as an example and try to use not just the three main pens that I use, but I bring in the color gelosity, which look great, some other fine liners, and I also bring in some Crayola. They're not the super tips, they're something else and they're quite fine. They're like a 0.7 to a 0.1. So they are like a texture, but they're not thick. I don't know. That probably doesn't make any sense, but I really like it. And I try and color code different things. I do only have three subjects in the layout, whereas when I was at uni, I had four, but I didn't have another color that fit the spread. So I thought three will do. My OCD couldn't handle having another color that doesn't fit the spread. Even the kind of turquoisey one doesn't fit. 100% but I'm like that'll be fine that's you know whatever and I do have work in the sidebar but I move it because when I was trying to play with it I thought work would be fine for just the weekends as a uni student I didn't like working during the week especially with assignment the one flaw I will say about using a sticker kit with the hourly is the stickers felt way too big even the big one down the bottom that I had like birthday it just felt too big like the washi across the top looked really good the date covers yes weekend banner awesome the to-dos and the sidebar yeah but I really like using functional boxes and half boxes and quarter boxes and this spread tended to move away from that but in saying that there's a big positive in that because you could buy kits a la carte only buy two sheets for what you need and save a hell of a lot of money not buying $20 six page kits which I do now whereas last year I was so I decorated my planner with washi rolls with stickers that were from D stashes I used I bought a calendar from typo and it had this beautiful artwork and I'm like I really want to use this so I cut up the calendar and I put it over like the entire right hand page. Oh, it was just atrocious because you couldn't write on it, but I glued it in right at the start of the year when I had no idea what I was doing. So some of these pages were really stiff because I'd stuck like cardboard into it. 
Oh, I'm so glad I've come so far with my planning style. I'm so glad I didn't have a YouTube channel back then. No one would have watched it. It was just atrocious. And I planned as I go as well, which was good. And I didn't have a set day. I just kind of planned whenever the fuck I wanted. Whereas now I'm like, okay, Thursday or Friday, whenever I feel like it, I'm going to sit down and plan. I've got to make sure that my camera is charged and on Saturday I've got to make sure I edit. Sunday I've got to make sure I do my voiceover and then I upload it. I really liked using the to-do list for goals and things that I wanted to achieve and I really like how drinks was hand-lettered. I feel like that really pops out of the page and as a uni student that's definitely what you enjoyed doing. As I said before, the hourly layout was really good to denote when you would have class. So I just put a line down denoting what hours you would be in class for. And then next to it, just the name of the class, if it was a tutorial or a lecture. And then I just put some deco wherever the fuck I wanted it. Because the deco was really, really cute in this kit. I loved planning with majority of pens and the almost like felt tip markers the Crayolas are. It was something different and I guess this week like every day I'm trying to upload something different for you so I hope you've enjoyed that. Here's the rest of the kit and I hope to see you in my next video. Catch ya!